Welcome to a new video. Sorry for our extended absence. Um, we just moved back from Florida. Mm -hmm. uh, don't leave immediately, please. I'm still wearing a Disney shirt. And it's been a busy couple of weeks, but we are back on track and we've got lots of videos planned yes. for a couple of months with more Disney content. Yes, we have plenty of videos to last quite a while, even though we already moved back home. Backlogged way back So. Yeah, we'll be good for a good another like two months or so. So welcome. This video is gonna be a what we spend in a week, but really Very exciting. what we spend from pay period to pay period. Mm -hmm. Cause we get paid on a Thursday and we filmed Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, except technically we skipped two days cause neither of us bought anything on two days. So yes, yeah, so this was Thursday to Wednesday, starting out on payday. So As y'all saw, the first things were mine. Do you think I can hear that? Probably. What should are we, we, do? we should. So as you saw, I got some pop tarts from the <laughs> vending machine at work. And let me tell you guys, I don't even like pop tarts, but they were some desperate times because I didn't eat anything that day. And usually I just deal with it, but I had a rough day. And same thing, I forgot my lunch. And then I got some expensive Subway, almost $9. But it was worth it because my sandwich is so good. So total for me, our first day was ten dollars and fifty cents. Take the stage. Okay, and then the next clips are mine. I went and got groceries that day. I spent forty-four dollars and twelve cents at Target, and then I had to go to Aldi to get the meat because they don't sell meat at the Target across the street from Flamingo. And so then. That total was ten sixty three. So altogether, I spent fifty four dollars and seventy five cents on day one. So for the both of us combined on day one, our total is sixty five dollars and twenty five cents. Not terrible, but too much for one day, I think. Hey, it was payday, so it, spending exactly. money doesn't count. So that was a short day. The only thing either of us bought was my lunch. This day, I actually didn't forget my lunch. I chose not to get lunch because I was working at Hollywood Studios and I was stressed. And I informed her that the cafeteria at Hollywood Studios was gonna be really close to where she was working. And it was, and it, it was, was so worth it. So my subway was actually more expensive there. Really? And, mm -hmm. Did you get the same exact thing? I got the same sandwich, but I got chips and a monster, but at the other one, it was probably the monster that was expensive because at the other one, I got a Kit Kat, a Hershey's bar in, in Subway and it was cheaper. But my total there was 1073 and that was our total combined for the whole day because Hannah didn't get anything. Not buy anything. You notice we skipped a day and I think I bought enough stuff for both of those <laughs> two days combined. <laughs> Unfortunately, I spent a lot of money this day because I had a fun girls day out with Toko. So as you saw, we got coffee and a cinnamon roll. The coffee was disgusting. It was just black <laughs> coffee, but it was, I bought it. My total at Gaston's Tavern. I guess <laughs> I bought Tavern. That was $12.76. After that, we got lunch, we got spring rolls. The cheeseburger ones are better than the pizza ones. Toko got the pizza ones and I tried one. 
the cheeseburger ones are better. But that was $9.50. And then we got an asteroid shake to share, but I just paid for it. And that was $9.36. So that was everything I bought at Magic Kingdom. But then after that, later, I went grocery shopping and spent $100.75 at the grocery store, as you saw, bringing my total for the day to $132.37. And on this day, I went to Epcot and I just had kind of a chill day. I just walked around the World Showcase and watched some shows and stuff. Some but shows. Some shows. I just walked around the World Showcase a little bit. But I did get a sweet treat. I got the little brioche bun press ice cream thing from France. And that was $10.12. And that was the only thing I bought that day. So that was my grand total as well. Bringing our combined grand total to $42.49. 142. What is going on? To a film, which brings our combined total to $142.49. The next day, Hannah actually spent more money than me. I got a Pib Extra from the vending machine. Sometimes after work, I got desperate because I had finished both of my propels during the day. Some days I only brought one propel, and so I was thirsting to death sometimes. And that day, I sacrificed $2.15 for a nice off-brand Dr. Pepper. I would have bought drinks from the vending machines more often if the vending machine didn't steal my $5 one time and I tried to get a monster. Yeah, that would break my heart. Yeah, it did break my heart. And this day, before Lauren left for work, I went to go get Duncan for us to celebrate Biscuit's birthday. Happy birthday, Biscuit, this day. She's um, one years old. What? She's one year old now. That sounds bad. One, one year, year old. old. But that is right. Just yeah. sounds gross. She's a year old now. And that total for two coffees and a little pup cup came to $9.14. Bringing our combined total to... $11.29. Oh, Biscuit, did you want to pop in for your birthday segment? Say I'm a whole year old now. The peer pressure is real. The last day, Hannah didn't spend any money. It was just me. I went to Hollywood Studios with Vanessa. Shout out Vanessa. She's a loyal land h fan we went to one of those little restaurants in star wars land i don't remember which one and i got this delicious little pink drink and a ronto wrap that was thirty dollars and 98 cents way too much money by the way if you notice on there it has them like this much subtract this much because it has my total but then i just subtracted how much vanessa paid me back and then after that later on i got starbucks that was six dollars and 16 cents <laughs> And lastly, we got some pins, which ended up being $22.57 after I took out Vanessa's portion. And then I also filmed a little clip of us opening which pins we got, and we can make that a bonus Wednesday video in the future. So my grand total, which was also our grand total since Hannah didn't buy anything for that day is $59.71. Okay, y'all, so that was our full week of spending on our DCP. So my grand total, unfortunately, was $215.46. And my grand total was $74.01. And then together, our total was $289.47. That's pretty good. Yeah, it was. So as you can see, you can really do the DCP different ways depending on how you like to spend money. My paychecks were a lot less than Lauren's on average. And so I typically spent less money. And then also, more. this was kind of more of a spending week for me mm -hmm. because on both of my off days, I went to the parks and I went grocery shopping. So yes. it's just like I was doing a lot. There were some weeks where I wouldn't spend literally any Anything. money at all, like just zero dollars. Yeah. This just so, happened to be a more fun one. It turns out to film this video. Yeah, you can definitely, it, it really depends on what week you chose. We chose a random week. There are some weeks that I went to the parks two or three times on my off days and spent a lot more money. But this week I didn't have any plans at all. So I basically spent nothing. Hannah's looking so, yeah. a lot more frugal than me in this video. Yeah, it just kind of depends. So 
We just thought this would be a cool comparison here to show that you don't have to spend that much money if you don't want to, but also have fun and go spend money if you want to. And then also, we just enjoy watching these videos. So yes. we figure it's Maybe so much you would fun. too. And hopefully this was helpful for anyone wondering if they should come do the DCP and spend all your money because we did and it was so much fun. And we have and so hey, many souvenirs now. Both of us had money to spare after this from the paycheck mm -hmm. we got this pay period. Yes. So. My paycheck tomorrow is gonna be $228. We also thought it would be kind of interesting in this video to kind of talk about our paycheck breakdown. So this week in particular, my straight from working on the pay stub paycheck was $528.08. But I did not see all that money because after taxes and our housing was taken out, my actual net pay that hit my bank account was $260.46. And then subtracting the $74 that I spent, I had $186.45 left over. So even with groceries, some fun spending, after rent and taxes and everything, I still had $186 left over in my bank account yeah, after that week was away. over. Okay, and then this week before rent was taken out, my paycheck was $522.71. Rent took out $202, which brought it down to $256.15. So this week, even though I really spent big, I actually still had $40.69 left over from my paycheck that I didn't spend. So even when I was not trying to save, like this week, I was like, oh, well, there's a video. I might as well just buy this Ronto wrap that I wouldn't usually buy. <laughs> I can't believe you're admitting and, that for the audience. <laughs> but I, I wasn't holding back, basically. And I still had like $40 left over. So you can save a little bit of money. And if you actually just don't go crazy spending, you can save a pretty good chunk of money. And also to note, Lauren was down a lot of hours this week because we had went home that previous weekend. So on that paycheck that she got, she was missing a day and a half. So she would have had more left over if she would have worked a full week that previous week. But my paycheck was only around 250 and usually it was between 350 to 500, depending on how many hours I worked and yeah. how much overtime and whatever. Luckily, so. since I have three off days, I didn't have to miss anything for us going home because they lined up with the days that we went home. So that was a full paycheck for me, but just not for one. Just to note. So I believe that that is everything. We will talk to you later. Bye.